Hey guys, my name is Alice. Welcome to the fifth episode of the Positive Vibes show, designed to make you happier, stronger every day. So, I'm a life coach, YouTube creator, actress, teacher, and I hope I will become your friend as well during the time we're going to spend together. So, I am here to guide you master the art of living happily and in harmony with your feelings, friends and surroundings, and even yourself. So I know that life is hard, but you can make it easier. Just learning how to be in a positive mood, you can live the life that you have always imagined. So let's make it happen together with love, compassion and goodwill. Hey my loves, welcome to another episode of the Positive Vibes show. So in today's episode, we're going to talk about caring for like how to stop caring for what others think about you. I would like first to thank one of my clients who accepted me to share some of the tips that we have applied together during her self-acceptance journey. And thank you so much for accepting to share your story with my community. So um, I would like to ask you, like, how many times did you put yourselves in very complicated situations, like where you want to please others and try to hide things that you don't want them to see or know about you? So this was the case that happened to my client. Um, And so many times she was trying to be a people pleaser, but in one moment, like she got to think, like, do I really need to please others to be who I want to be? So do you really? This is what she thought. So I would just ask you a question. Do you really need to fake your personality to, to please others? And when she asked herself, these questions she understood that she needed to change the f- like the fake her the fake personality she gave to herself and try to embrace her real self and just accept herself so here are some steps and tips she used or we used together and so that she could stop caring about what others think about her and this is also what I used myself when I was trying to transform myself into a better version of me. And, you know, you can just implement these simple steps in your life. These are simple things you can keep in mind and then can, that can help you a lot in being someone who doesn't care about what others think. So first of all, it's being indifferent about the world of social media. Yeah, guys, yeah, this is something very common. Like we do, like we all experience anxiety over what others think of us. And But a better way to feel good in the world of social media is to be indifferent to it. You know that the world of social, of social media isn't really the real representation of what we are living in our lives. So... First, you have to let go of worrying about how much you are posting or how good your photos look on Instagram. Just follow this simple advice and see the difference it will make in your life. You know, when you post a photo, don't check every time and try to see if other people are gonna like it or not. So just don't care. Don't give a damn about it. You post it and then forget about it. You need. You don't need to be perfect. Be who you are. And this is exactly what my client used and she really feels amazing right now because she doesn't care about what people think about her. And I'm proud of what she has been through and what she has became right now. So the second tip I'm gonna give you is it's okay to get to care about what others think. So perhaps the most important thing is for people to get over their insecurities and anxieties about social media and start accepting that their online persona cannot be the real them. And even in real life, like we experience the same things, insecurities or anxieties about others if they like us or not. So do you think that you know how life like how my life 
is when you are listening to my podcast or when you are watching my videos. You actually don't because it's just a part of me that I'm sharing with you. Like I'm trying to be authentic. I'm trying to be transparent. But you know, sometimes you can't know what I'm experiencing. You can't know that I'm going through ups and downs as well. So, you know, many people are obsessed with what they have said in a post or a picture. But the truth is, you cannot control what people say to you if they choose to say it. And you cannot control if they love you, if they don't care, if they care about you. You cannot control this. So let go of things you can't control. Which takes us to the third step or to the third tip, which is accept the things that you cannot control. So this tip is all about you accepting the fact that you cannot control everything. So one of the most important things we don't know as human beings is that there are things we can't control. We cannot force someone to love us. We cannot please everyone. We cannot satisfy everyone. Even our parents sometimes, we cannot satisfy them because they just are not aligned with our energies, with who we are right now. So this explains that you just have to accept the fact that there are things in life we are not responsible for. And what matters is your self-satisfaction and self-acceptance and also not pleasing people. You don't have to please everyone. You don't have to please anyone. You just love yourself, accept yourself for who you are. You know, change starts with awareness. Self-awareness is your path to change. The fact that you are listening to this podcast means that you're doing your best to understand you're doing your best to know more about yourself and to improve so the fourth tip is stick to your own value so our values are generally what define us our values are part of our uniqueness and personalities You can stick to your own values while trying to be loved by people. You don't have to show them that you can be okay like with everything they say just because you care a lot about what they, they will think about you. If you tell them that you disagree with what they say, you have the right to say what you think, you have the right to say no if you don't agree and you have the right to reject things that you don't feel aligned with. So it can be easy to let your anxiety cause you to not like yourself, right? Live up to your values and don't seek to be embarrassed by pleasing people. But if this embarrassment, like if you see that this embarrassment will give you the chance to hustle and work harder on yourself or just become the best version of yourself, which I did personally and I really like the fact that I did it. So... You just have to accept that this embarrassment is going to be a part of your life which is going to make you thrive, become a real hustler and work harder on yourself, okay? But first, be clear on what your values are. So stop telling lies to yourself. And this last one takes us exactly to stop lying to to yourself. So what do I mean? So how many times do you tell yourself that you are not worth being successful, that you are not enough, and that you can't live the life of your dreams? Maybe so many times. And I want you, or I need you to know, yeah, I really do need you to know something, that this is a simple lie you keep telling yourself to not get out of your comfort zone. So you know what does it mean, your comfort zone. So it's all about when you are watching TV, for example, when you are doing something fun that is not like pushing you to give it some effort or yeah, some, some energy. So your subconscious mind is designed to protect you from doing anything that can harm you, from all the obstacles of life. Or so if you want to get out of your comfort zone, stop telling yourself lies 
And, you know, if you want to know more about your conscious and subconscious or unconscious mind, I would like to invite you to read the book of Emil Coe, yeah, which is entitled Self Mastery Through Conscious Auto Suggestion. So I'm gonna repeat it again. So it's Emil Coe, entitled Self Mastery Through Conscious Auto Suggestion. So it's just like auto suggestion, okay? So you will get to understand the tricks that your subconscious mind is playing on you and how you can react to those tricks. Let me give you a simple example. So for example, let's take a, a woman who wants to start her dream job or her business. And then, you know, her subconscious mind is just telling her or telling you that, you know what, you just go and watch that. Netflix series and you don't have to give efforts on something that that is going to take you out of your comfort zone so and when the person listens to these inner like talks because they are self talks they just get to stay and not do the thing which is quite scary like doing that thing is scary of course and so if you just do a trick on your subconscious mind which is you tell him you know what i'm going to do what i have to do right now and then later on i will uh, just go and watch a netflix series so you see this is just a simple example as simple as that and so yeah if you try this trick with your your subconscious mind you're gonna know that he is playing tricks on you i hope this um, trick is going to help you and last tip which is accept yourself as you are so one of the most important things in life is accepting oneself as we are you don't have to be like people want you to be you don't have to change for people you know for example let's suppose you have met your soulmate and you just think that you're you're not going to be enough for him you're not like he's not going to be pleased with the personality that you have right now and you're gonna try to change just because you want him to be happy and to be fulfilled with being with you which I really don't agree with because you know if it's really your soulmate if it's really the person you feel great with he has to accept you as you are and he uh, he has to just you know love you for who you are maybe yeah doing some simple steps in order to be the best version of yourself but not killing yourself with saying that you are bad you are not good enough you are not beautiful you are not you know everyone is unique in his or her own way so you just gotta listen to you to those values that you have which keep telling you that you are enough you are a good person you are courageous you are brave you are strong you are smart and keep going okay don't never accept to go back on your dreams or go back on something you really desire to achieve I think this is it for today, my loves. I hope that you really enjoyed what I told you today. I would like to thank again my client who accepted to share with you her story. You know, sometimes it's hard to share one's story, but thank you again, my dear. And thank you so much, guys, for, you know, listening to my podcast, for your support. If ever you liked this content that I am creating and sharing with you, I would like to like you to subscribe and please leave a comment below about what you think my podcast is helping you with and even let me know which one of these tips that you can implement in your life so that you stop being or caring for what others think about you. Thank you so much again, my loves. I wish you a wonderful week and I just want to tell you that I love you so much and remember, the best is yet to come. You are here for something, to be someone and not anyone. I love you so much and I'm sending you too much love, too much energy for this week. Thank you so much. Have a nice time. Bye-bye.